never even touch it, huh? There's only one wireless for the first one. Can I get a fair rate of you on this fryer? Can I give it to these guys here? Take it. Want to do another one? Yeah. So I'll get it here. That's good. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. You have a great mom? Good or great? That's right. She knew what to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. Wow. So nice. All right. You're doing a good job. Okay. These are nice people we're meeting, huh? So you hear what we Got it. Mary, look at this guy. I'm not going to mess with him, huh? How you doing, sir? You look fantastic. Hello. my new baby boy. How are you? Your new baby. How are you? Great. How are you? So this is compliments of me, okay? All right. You go have Thank a good you. time. Don't eat too much, right? <laughs> shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is. Bahashim, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning he is our salvation. And that is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, a so-called black man. All right, and we're going to title this something along the line, The Golden Arch Will Not Stop the Golden Cup. The Golden Arch Will Not Stop the Golden Cup from Being Judged, okay? Now, what you saw was the former president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, working at, McDon uh, working at McDonald's, you know, on the fries. OK. And, uh, you know, I guess in the attempt of trying to gain more voters in these last few days coming up before the election, he's trying to relate to the coming people or the coming person showing, you know, that, hey. I can work a, a nine to five just like the regular uh, Joe can work a nine to five, trying to be more relatable to the, you know, to the mass. OK, but whatever gimmicks Babylon is coming with is not going to stop it from being judged. OK, whether he's working at McDonald's, the Golden Ark, or whether he's working at Burger King. All right. Whether he's on the fries whether Kamala's, whether Kamala is flipping burgers and whether Joe Biden is behind the cash register, they're not going to stop this judgment from coming. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 28 in verse 8. It reads, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. And that's no different from now. OK, the servants, the prophets of the Most High, are prophesying against this great kingdom. And we're telling the people, hey, there will be no more make America great again. OK, no matter how they try to sell it to you or pitch it to you or whatever, this place is finished. OK. It served its purpose, and now it's getting ready to be destroyed, okay? America, Babylon the Great, North America, the United States of America will be utterly destroyed, that golden cup, okay? It served its purpose, and no golden arch is going to save it or deliver it, okay? Like I said, you can have Trump on the fries, Kamala flipping the burgers, and Biden behind the cash register. That still ain't going to save this place from its judgment, 
All right. This is the will of the heavenly father. All right. So let's read this one more time. And then let's go get a couple of scriptures. Well, let's get a, a few more precepts to expound upon. This is Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. One more time. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay. And that's what we out here prophesying today about this country, this being Babylon the Great, that kingdom that's the most proud of them all. We are prophesying, telling you that, hey, there's nothing but calamity coming for this place. And ultimately, those thermonuclear missiles, all right? And we're going to get it in scriptures, okay? Let's go over to the book of Jeremiah. Well, we're going to stay in that book, Jeremiah, but we're going to go over to uh, the chapter beginning with verse 51. And we're probably going to start at the top. You know, and the headline reads, Babylon, judge for sins <clears throat> against Israel. OK, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. You should be, you know, ready for this, man. You should be ready to get the hell up out of this place. All right. We've been here way too long, man. No matter if you got a president or a former president getting ready to flip fries and serve you and give you a bag of greasy, you know, Man, you know what McDonald's food is about. Those fries that can last for years, man. And the people take it gratefully. You know, all because why? Some president gave it to them, all right? All because of an a, 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 a election year where after this election year is up and done, you ain't going to find them no more at McDonald's flipping your fries, okay? This is just a gimmick. And the people buy it and eat it every four years like clockwork. So this is Jeremiah 51 and verse 1. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Right, and we know that destroying wind is going to be by the way of those thermonuclear missiles, man. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles, also known as ICBMs, okay? That's that wind that's coming along with the chariots too. All right. He's going, the most high Yahweh is going to do a number on Babylon the great. All right. When he sent his only begotten son Yahweh shot along with the other angels and the chariots, they're going to do a number on this place. It's a wrap, man. So the golden ark will not stop the golden cup for get, from getting judged. Okay. <clears throat> Verse two. And I was sent into Babylon fanners. Right. Those are those missiles because they're going to come fan the land, man. They're going to come completely and utterly waste this place, man. It's going to be that strong wind that just blow everything down, man. When that when hey, when those warheads drop out of those missiles, man, that that shock wave is going to take everything out and it's going to be overkill. OK, this place is going to get uh, rewarded double. All right. And it says, <clears throat> slock you. Verse 2, and I will send her to Babylon fanners that shall fan her. Right. And they ain't going to fan her like, oh, she's on, on fire. You know, give her, you know, a fan. No, it's going to, it's going to, uh, it's going to facilitate the fire. It's going to facilitate the fire, man. It's, the, it's what's going to make the fire burn. It's what's going to make Babylon look like a lake of fire from a chariot point of view. All right. From us that if we are of the elect, when we get beamed up into the chariots, looking down at Babylon, it's going to look like a lake of fire. All right. And that wind is going to be the catalyst that, you know, bring forth that judgment. OK, those thermonuclear missiles, by the way, of uh, ICBMs, along with the chariots shooting laser beams. OK, so it says, and I will send it to Babylon fanners that shall fan her. And she'll empty her land. This place is going to be desolate, man. No inhabitants will inhabit this place ever again. Now, you're going to have wild beasts and desert creatures, but no inhabitants, okay? It says, for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about, right? So this place is already getting close to that day, that time, man. 
You know, that everyone with the capability is going to what? Empty their storehouse, empty their armory and unload on Babylon. OK, all those countries and nations with the capability of thermonuclear missiles and that bends the bow and have the capability to release the arrows. They're going to let those arrows go, which are the modern day uh, missiles. OK. It says verse three. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. You see, the archer is representation of these other nations with the capability of, you know, being able to shoot the, uh, the, the missiles. Because when the missiles leave from that continent to this continent, it's going to go up in a trajectory like a arch. OK, where they're going to go up into the upper atmosphere and then they're going to come down. And when they come down, those warheads are going to detach and it's going to just do his number. It's going to blow through the whole land. OK, those those fanners, those windows, those windows. OK, and this is coming, man. So the golden arch will not save the golden cup from getting annihilated. OK, it's coming. Whether you got, like I said, Trump on the fries. Harris on the burgers and Biden on the cashier. It's a done deal, man. All right. It says, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brig nine, and spare ye not her young men. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So, hey, everybody going to get it. All right. Everyone. Verse four. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans and they that are thrust through in her streets. So, hey, it's going to be a lot of people out here getting uh, getting put away, man. One way or another missiles, the chariots, you know, it's going to be some it's going to be some, you know, some cleaning going on, man. That fire you're going to be doing some work. Right. Verse five for Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power. Right. You so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. Hey, the most high has not forgotten about us. OK, he's got a country verse with these other nations. All right. And Babylon, America, the United States of America is going to be that. That uh, that example of what happened when you come against the Lord, man, it's going to be a memorial. People going to look and see what happens when you rebel and come against the Lord, man. This place is going to be a reminder, a memorial, all right, for all this iniquity, okay? So it says, verse 5, For Israel, Yasharallah, hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of Yahweh of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, Okay? And that land that's being and our land that's being inhabited right now are, are being inhabited by imposters, okay? And they're for, and they're uh fulfilling prophecy too, okay? Because that land is gonna get uh wiped out too. But the only thing that's different from that land, which is being inhabited by you know the so-called 1948ers in America, is that that land, which is our land, but it has to be what destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles as well. It's going to get rebuilt back up, but America will not. OK. Israel is going to get what hit with thermonuclear missiles, man, that land over there. OK, that's being inhabited currently by those 1948ers. All right. All to pursue, all to uh, fulfill prophecy. OK. So verse five says, for Israel have not been forsaken nor Judah of his power. Of Yahweh of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Verse 6 Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Right. And when we get that, that you know, uh, change of a twinkling of an eye, we're going to get transformed, uh, transformed into that, you know, those new bodies going up into the chariots, man. All right. But those that are left here in Babylon, America, United States of America, they're going to suffer that judgment. All right. So it says flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. 
for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, right? And if you cut off, man, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna receive that salvation, man. All right, you're gonna have to see the missiles come down, and you know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know, good luck. <laughs> you're gonna probably try to send a prayer up to your 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 uh false idol, okay? But to no prevail, it's gonna fall on deaf ears, man. Because you're going to find out that, hey, them idols that you believe in calling on, they ain't going to have no power that day. So keep calling on Allah, Buddha, Jesus, whoever, <clears throat> okay? If you ain't calling on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it's going to fail, okay? Verse 7 says, Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand, you see? And that golden arch, arch is not going to save that golden cup, which is America. So just because the president put on a spec a spectacle for the people to see at McDonald's, that's not going to stop that judgment for coming to this golden cup, Babylon, because Babylon has been that golden cup that what? And Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. Okay? All the earth has drunk in this cup out of the cup of uh, Babylon, the golden cup. Whether it's their democracy, whether it's their, you know, uh, philosophies, religion, what have you. Okay. It says what? The nations have drunken of her wine, which is the, the different philosophy, uh, the different philosophies, the ideologies is democracy, everything. It says, therefore, the nations are mad. Okay. Not only are they mad, you know, were they getting ready to lose it. But they also become mad in the sense that what? They've patterned themselves after America, okay? You got countries that's, <clears throat> you know, uh, practicing democracy, okay? And you got other countries, you know, that they try to uh, demonize by saying they're a, 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 a communist or a commie or whatever, and democracy is the way to go. But hey, you got some countries that don't want to follow after that democracy, that they want to uh, run their country the way they see fit. But America tries to put them under a a a uh, dark light, per se. OK, so this is it, man. America has to get that that judgment. All right. It's been that golden cup that has made the other uh, other nations mad. All right. And now it's time. All right. We're getting close to that time for it to be judged. Revelation 17. And let's start at verse. Let's start at verse four. It says in the woman, which is America, United States of America was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. All right. This is the reason why. All right. This place is getting judged for all this fornication, all this wickedness, all this abominations. This place is the beacon or the light for what what you do when you want to go against the, the most high. This is what it is, man. Come here to America where you can do whatever you want to do with no repercussions until that day of vengeance come. Verse five. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother, see, <laughs> the mother of harlots, all right? She tops it all, man. America is that, that, uh, is that, America is that, you know, that light, that, you know, beacon, that what you want to strive for to be a harlot, all right? If you want to look at a place and pattern after a place where, you know, it's just complete wicked. That's look no further than America. All right. It says the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That's why this place is going to get it the worst, man. That's why after this, this place will be no more inhabited. All right. Because it, it, it will have served this purpose. All right. Verse seven. And the angel said unto me. Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman 
and of the beast that carrieth her, which have the seven heads and ten horns. Right. And that's going into uh, NATO and EU. All right. So this is the place, man. OK. And this place will be, you know, completely, you know, done away with. All right. And, you know, rightfully so. OK. So, hey, don't let those gimmicks, you know, fool you, man. Hey, <laughs> pulling up to a drive through and you got 30 people with cameras filming at a window and you just want to stop and get your, your number nine mill. The next thing you know, who pulls up and who pulls out the window? None other than your your yours truly, Donald J. Trump with a bag of McDonald's giving you your food for free, trying to secure another vote, although the vote. Although the election is already, you know, decided, but it gives the people the illusion to have a, a, a choice to pick between this person and that person. But truth be told, the election is already selected. Who's going to win anyways, man? That's why most people refer to it as an a, as a selection rather than an el, uh, election, an uh, election. OK, so this is it. You know, the golden arch will not save the golden cup. From getting judged. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Not going to be too long with it. And take it over to 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Where it reads, be sober, be vigilant. You see, don't let these little, you know, <laughs> these little spectacles and these little gimmicks get you thrown off, man. You know, don't let that fool you. All right. Stick to the word, man. So be sober, be vigilant. All right. So what if he shows up at your job? So what if, you know, he asks, asks you, uh, ask you questions and things like that just to try to get you to vote? <laughs> hey, so what? Keep your eye on the prize. Don't get side. Don't get sidetracked. All right. We know what's at hand. Getting the hell up out of here. All right. It says be sober, be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. So what does he do? He shows his little patsies to go put and work at places where the average person works at so you can be more relatable, especially as he get closer and closer to that time of being elected. Because we're now, what, a couple of weeks out? So, hey, don't be surprised. You know, you may see more and more things like this pop up. Like I said, you may see... Kamala next showing up at an ice cream stand or ice cream store behind the counter putting ice cream in a cone okay you don't know what gimmicks they're gonna do and pull out on these last couple of uh weeks before the election all right but be sober be vigilant whatever it is you know hey we're telling you to get ready stay ready so you don't have to get ready all right so we're gonna wrap it up with that you know i want to say you know shalom Pray some moments edified also through this lesson and until the next time, if it be the Lord's will. Stay strong. Stay in the faith. We are almost home. Shalom. Peace.